thank you so much for all your um, support and that you keep watching my videos and thank you so much for like uh, for hitting the bell button liking it subscribing it and even sharing it with your family friends i've got an amazing recipe again today for you and simple but it's good um i thought of making this recipe because over the weekend i ordered some kingfish so i've got some end bits of kingfish i thought why not do a go and go and delicious kingfish mold so i've got some pieces of kingfish over here so that's nice and fresh kingfish so what i'm going to do is do the kingfish mold and for that you would require um, the red curry paste that I told um, that I had put up recently so you can refer it to the curry paste you can go down I use that curry paste for most of the things so I would say to you check out the video for the curry paste and I use that curry paste so all I would require for this today is I've got some chopped onion I've got some curry leaves over here, about a few curry leaves and a little bit of ginger if that's what you want it. I've got some little bit of brown sugar, I've got some turmeric, salt, oil and fish. So what I'm going to do first is just quickly marinate the fish. What I'm going to do is add some salt. I'm going to add some nice bit of salt to it. Make sure you add a nice bit of salt to it and then add some turmeric on it. Put some turmeric. As usual, you will find the link of um, um, it's like ingredients into the link. So I'll make sure I put it down. So there's all that. Put that in and dab it. So, Make sure you nicely apply that. So, turmeric is good because it um, it's kind of a spice that it um, adds as a preservative as well. Because uh, turmeric got so many benefits of its own, the goodness of turmeric. So I would, what I do is that turmeric and just let it sit down for a couple of minutes and by the time we take I'll show you what I do next now what we do is I've got a pan on give it to medium medium to high nice bit of oil remember this dish requires a nice bit of oil so I've got at least three to four tablespoon oil over there so what I'm gonna do is place the fish and fry the fish first. So it should be nice and hot. Okay. Then fry the pieces of fish. Okay. Okay. Well, what we need to do is we need to fry this fish thoroughly so when I say thoroughly it's, don't be afraid to over to fry it really crispy let it, let it go hard don't leave it moist don't leave the moisture in it because the minute you leave the moisture in it your mold will start forming the start to release the water inside so what do you need do is really fry up these pieces as well. And I'll fry it for another couple minutes. I'll show you what happens next. Now that the fish is fried, we'll take it off in the bowl. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same pan fry up the onion so all that fish make sure you fry it to that stage so what I'm gonna do now is add the onion to the 
you need a little bit more oil, make sure you add some oil to it as well. What I like to add is, I like to add a little bit of ginger, just roughly chopped into it. Fry off the onion. Make sure you add some oil. Fry off the onion in into a stage of golden brown. What I'm gonna do is now that the onion you can see is turning into nice and caramelized brown, what I'm gonna do is add some brown sugar, that's what I add um, to give it a little bit of sweetness I add about a tablespoon of brown sugar and then, then I just throw in the curry leaves okay. fry it off what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add my red curry red, red masala to it and as, as, I, as I've said I've got the link onto my channel so you can refer to my channel so what I'm gonna do is add two tablespoons of the same curry paste that's how I store it in the jar it remains good so I'm gonna add three sorry so I like the sauce so even if there's no fish what I do is I just fry the fish separately if I've got the sauce, I just mix it with it. So, kingfish is just one way that we used over the years in Goa. But you can use, you can always experiment by using different kinds of fish and see what goes with it. You don't have to be you know, religious to just stick to one kind of fish. But, so, once you do that, Slow cook it for a couple of minutes. And you slow cook it for a couple of minutes. What we'll do is we'll add the fish into the paste. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water, just a tiny bit. That's it. And we'll just allow it to cook it up. The reason I added water is now that I add the fish into it, it will dry up, but it is going to absorb that little moisture into it as well. So what I'm going to do is place the fish on it. And I'm going to cook this now for the next five to seven minutes on a slow heat. What it will do is the fish will try and absorb the curry paste that is cooking as well. It will slowly absorb it in. So, and in that time, I'm going to keep on turning it so that, it, so that both the sides get equally Up with the marinade, so this goes. Um, you can enjoy this, you can do this. Sorry, you can do this uh, kingfish mold and store it as well, but you need to fry the fish really crispy so, so that it um, for the fish to be fried really crispy, make sure you add a nice bit of generous amount of salt to it as well because it's going to cure it anyway so and you need to fry it off and use the same pan to fry off the onions just slow cook it and you can set it aside or the other way you can enjoy this dish is is the same way how I did you can fry off the fish add that um, um, add the, the curry paste to it and you can add the curry paste to it and you can use it for the same day as well so you don't you have both the options so you can do it to store it or you can do it for 
the steak there as well, but it will stay good as long as you fry the fish thoroughly. So when I say thoroughly, don't leave the moisture in the fish inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more of that brown sugar because I like mine a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit, a little bit of sourness into the more. And a couple more minutes and it should be ready. I'll show you what happens next. So let me plate it. What I'm going to do is plate it over here. And that. Another best way is if you have the slices of the fish really thin, it would help you cook the fish even faster. I like to add a lot of onion because I really enjoy the onion a bit more. So if you, if you like a nice bit of onion, so why not? So let me garnish it with some curry leaf. So there you go. As Gone style kingfish more. Um, friends, I hope you really like this dish. Um, this is a very quick and easy one. As long as you have the curry paste with you, you know, you can always knock this dish up quickly. And you don't just have to use kingfish. I'm using kingfish because we ordered it over the weekend. So I hope you like the dish. Don't forget the recipe should be down below or into the video link. Um, I really hope you enjoy this dish and goodbye from the Rebellos.